Hey! You! Stop breathing! Captain Olimar was right! Oxygen is poisonous. Remember Pikmin 1? Jeez, what was that, like 2001? I was seven, and it was all about Captain Olimar's first crash landing on the planet which we later discover is Earth. And upon learning that, we discover that all of this explains so much about not only the world we see in Pikmin, but possibly our own world. After all, the planet's atmosphere is filled with high levels of oxygen. Which is toxic to Olimar and his people. He must escape this planet before his light support system fails, thus creating the most stressful game little child me ever played. I mean, come on! I'm sure we, we can all agree on that. That game scared many children of the time. Not to mention all the little Pikmin screams, the, 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 the souls just flying up and the screaming and all that, all the time. Oh god! I can't handle my Pikmin dying like that! Where are their souls even going? Pikmin heaven? Does that mean there's a Pikmin hell? What dictates if a Pikmin is good or evil? Why do I like to torture myself with such questions? Well, I digress. These are questions for Arlo. He likes Pikmin way more than I do. So, I'll let the professionals deal with them. Now back to my speciality, scaring children much like Nintendo of yore. So, uh, newsflash! Oxygen is killing you. That's right, I said it. You may have heard it before, but take it from me, a guy on the internet you've never actually met, but believe wholeheartedly. Me, the human Loxton that is 100% alive right now. I'm the pinnacle of trustworthiness, and I'm telling you that you're slowly burning up from the inside out. Being one of the most reactive elements commonly found in our world, this oxygen stuff is actually deadly. I mean, you've seen what it can do to iron. See all that rust on it? all caused by oxidation. Oxygen is one of the major components of human life. Heck, most carbon-based life. Well, all carbon-based life that we've encountered thus far. Now you're probably sitting there telling yourself, Loxton, you're a fool. Oxygen is what allows me to live. You'd die if you didn't breathe. You're just over-sensationalizing this to make a clickable title. That's your accent now, by the way. And you'd be correct. Plus, we're just using Olimar to create a video game segue, but hey, at least you've got some critical thinking skills. That makes you better than most people. So maybe I'm blowing things out of proportion, but let me just read this statistic. Did you know that 100%, that seven out of seven people, die at some point after inhaling oxygen? It's true. <laughs> So really now, in all realityness, what can oxygen do to your body, especially in a negative sense? What's so bad from one breath? <laughs> well, glad you ask. Oxygen can break down the very cells that make up our tissue and organs, our bones and our blood. It can even damage DNA. Boom! Welcome to Cancer Town, population you. It can also damage critical enzymes, things that stop damage to DNA. So again, Mayor of Cancer Town watching this here video. Also, have you ever considered that skeletons tend to not die, they tend to be immortal? That's because they don't breathe oxygen. Oxygen, which can also injure and stiffen your cell membranes, making the movement of nutrients in and out of cells more challenging, while ruining our receptors for various hormones, including testosterone, insulin, and everything your thyroid does. So go right ahead, hold your breath for as long as you can. But that would probably create an even bigger problem. Darned if you do, darned if you don't. Quite a pickle. I swear, if whoever edits this, puts a pickle rick here, I'm gonna be so mad. So technically speaking, yeah, oxygen is bad, but you still need it to live. Just also happens to be one of the main things killing you. And it's all thanks to this process called oxidation. So when we breathe in oxygen, oxidation takes place in the atoms of our cells. Also, when we breathe in oxygen, the oxygen incompletely reacts with hydrogen to form some extremely reactive hydroxide ions. Essentially, leaving free radical ions will only cause havoc in the body. It's thought that only 95% of oxygen in our cells go to the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell, leaving 5% behind to do willy-nilly usually very bad things. This is the reason why we have antioxidants. 
Antioxidants prevent the oxidation of body cells by reacting with the hydroxide ion before it even reacts with the body cells. But the production of such antioxidants does not always meet the requirements, and this is when the hydroxide ions, which are left out, start reacting with the body cells. Long story short, this reduces the lifespan of the human which I am. And heck, really anything that breathes the stuff. Then you may wonder, why do we need oxygen in the first place? The answer is that we need energy. We eat our food to get energy, but food doesn't get converted into energy on its own. The oxygen atoms help break down food to release energy. You know how if you leave food out for too long, it goes bad and rots away? Ugh. Ugh. Oxygen helped with that, and it does so in your body too. Respiration is defined as the breakdown of food or glucose into energy in the presence of oxygen. This equation. It must be kept in mind that this reaction does not occur in a single step, but by a series of steps. The ATP in that equation is the energy. Notice that there is the triphosphate, which means that the phosphate group was added. This shows us that the above chemical reaction does not occur in a single step. For all you chem nerds out there, I hope I didn't screw anything up. And hey, sorry for making you learn stuff. So this oxygen, this nasty, toxic byproduct of plants is killing us. Just really, really sick. I mean, if we didn't have to breathe oxygen and oxygen didn't exist, we may very well live past our hundreds. It's somewhat impressive how something so small as an atom is taking us down from the inside. It kinda sucks that our bodies rely on this toxic gas. Back to Pikmin though, we see a world where humans have died off. Most likely because of ourselves, honestly. Climate change, war, pestilence, overabundant social justice, disease. But really, an increase in oxygen could also have been a major factor here. Much like before us humans. Myself included. The world was once a huge forest, littered with plants. The oxygen levels thus were much, much higher. But unfortunately, this thing called oxygen was too toxic for many millions of years. Until, that is, one enterprising organism created an oxygen defense. Thankfully, it wasn't too hard, as back then they were being assaulted by ultraviolet radiation constantly. Mutations every day on the dot. Fun fact! Radiation and oxidation are actually very similar. This gave the organisms the basic tools to create a rudimentary defense, much like our modern day antioxidants. So go ahead and eat a plant, because they're killing us. Think a vegetarian. They are doing their part to save the human race. Or no. Meat eaters too. Gotta breed lots of cattle to feed up. And they suck up a lot of deadly oxygen as well. And the deforestation for more cattle farms is helping lower oxygen also. Nice! No, not nice. Global warming. Ah! So just like our need for this thing that's killing us, life is all about balance, I suppose. Back to Olimar real quick though, maybe because of how small Olimar is, it actually is dangerous for our normal levels of oxygen to be breathed by him. I mean, he turns into a plant if you fail your mission, so... There's that. Well, that was a quick video. Let me know if you like this faster format down below, and hey, got any ideas or theories for videos that would work like this? Let me know down in the comments, or join the conversation on Discord! Link down below. I actually interact with everyone a lot more on Discord than I do in the comments. I should get better at that. I read a lot of them, but I want to respond more, but... Eh. Never stop using your noggin.